So what's up guys? Today is February the 9th, Saturday, and I am on my way to look for a duffel bag. I'm taking another road trip. This time I'm going to um, fly. I'm going to go ahead of my husband. My husband's supposed to be coming on this weekend. I'm going back to Mississippi to visit with my best friend's daughter's little girl, my little goddaughter, and um, she's getting dedicated on next Sunday. So I'm going to go ahead and fly over there, and then my husband's going to drive on Saturday so that we can be there for her baby dedication. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, anyway, instead of taking um, a lot of luggage, I decided to just grab like a cute little duffel bag. The one that I'm looking for is at Victoria's Secret. You know, the pink ones with the um, sequence pink lettering on the duffel bag. That's what I'm really looking for. But they're like $70 at Victoria's Secret. So I'm going to try to hit the thrift stores to see if maybe I can find one there. And if not, I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and bite the bullet and grab what I really want at Victoria's Secret. So that's what I'm doing. And um, I think I'll take you guys with me. We'll see how awkward it is to vlog when I'm at the stores and everything. I always say that. And then when I get there, it's just too awkward. You know, people standing all around you and everything. But anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm working on now. And oh, so I was at Walmart. Was it Walmart yesterday? And I was looking for shampoo. I was in the shampoo aisle looking for like the sulfate free shampoos. And then there were two ladies that were in the aisle across from me. Not in the same one, but like the one over. So they couldn't see me and I couldn't see them, but I could hear them. And they were talking about. Um, I guess it was one of the lady's sister, and it was just a r very racist conversation that I was, like, appalled. I couldn't even believe that in 2013 people are still talking like this. But th these two ladies were white, and they were talking about one of the lady's sisters who's dating an Asian guy. And the conversation went kind of like this. I can't believe she's dating him. I mean, those people. And I was like, those people? I couldn't believe it. It took everything in me to keep from going over there and saying, come on now, really? I mean, because if you guys look at my videos, you've seen my husband and he's white. So I feel like people should just live and let live and not do that. I mean, those people, what on earth? So yeah, I was listening to that conversation and I was getting nauseous. So finally I just grabbed my shampoo and left. But I had to make a point to look over there to see what they look like and anyway I don't want to be like them so I'm not going to judge but I was just kind of sickened by the whole conversation so anyway back to what I was talking about before I'm about to head out the door to go to Victoria's Secrets or the thrift stores thrift stores first if I can't find what I'm looking for then I'll go to Victoria's Secrets all right in a minute yeah, so another thing I need to get while I'm out today is a new pair of sunglasses. Because these ones are like old, 1952-something. I don't know. I'm just exaggerating, but they're pretty old. So, yeah, I need to get some more sunglasses, too. So this is the first uh, thrift store that I'm going to try to see if I can't find my duffel bag. And they usually have pretty cool things. We'll see. There's another one that's not far from here, like two minutes up the road. I'm going to try that one. And then there's a flea market, like a swap meet place here. But um, it costs like $20 just to go in there. It's cray-cray. So I don't know if I'm going to go to that one. Yeah, probably not. So I didn't find the duffel bag I was looking for at that thrift store. But I did find a cute um, Gap hoodie that I can wear on my trip, you know, flying over there. Nice, comfortable hoodie. So now I'm at this thrift store, and I'm going to see if I can find something. It looks like they might have some cute ones. So I didn't see anything at that thrift store either. They had some cute ones, but they were like Betty Boop, and I'm not really a big Betty Boop fan. And it was kind of gaudy looking. It had a whole lot of rhinestones and stuff on it. So, yeah. So now I'm going to Garden Ridge, and after that... um Target is right across the street from Garden Ridge, so I'll head to Target and see if I can find. And then, if I can't find anything, I guess.
guess I'll have to go to Victoria's Secret and spend that money. I didn't want to, but oh well. What do you do? So I'm here at Garden Ridge, and I'm looking for the duffel bags. But I ran into, like, bathroom stuff. So just kind of looking around. Garden Ridge is so cool. They have really neat stuff. So it looks like I may have found the bags. The duffel bag should be down here somewhere. Here they are. So this is what I'm looking for. Something cute. Just a cute little duffel bag. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so I'm stoked. I found my duffel bag for $9.99. A really cute one. So I'm happy about that. Really cute. Here's a quick little peek of my duffel bag I got. $9. Okay, so I ended up getting everything that I wanted to get, plus my extra little hoodie that I found at the thrift store. And I think I spent about maybe 20 bucks, $25 at the top. That's really, really good. So, um, I'll, when I get home, I'll show you guys what I got. But um, right now, I'm driving up this street that is 20 miles an hour, and if you go over that, the cops will pull you over. That's the thing about living in St. Louis. If you don't abide by the law, like, if it says 20, you better go 20, you will get a ticket. I learned that the hard way. When I first moved here in 97, I got about three speeding tickets the first year I moved here. And I almost lost my driver's license. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm back from my little quest to find a duffel bag, and I was successful. I, like I showed you guys earlier, I got my little duffel bag from Garden Ridge, and let's take it out of the bag. I think it's really cute. Here it is. It is. very much me. It's pink and brown. I like the little zippers. I can put my cell phone right there. I can put my um, iPod there, keys or whatever. And it was only $9.99. And it's not too big. I didn't want a really big one, so that's fine. And then I found, I went back to that uh, second thrift store that I went to where they had the gaudy-looking duffel bags that were like um, Betty Boop and all that. And I found this makeup thing here. And I can put my makeup in here, my brushes. I can go here. My palette can go there. And this was only $5.95. And, so yeah, I like, this is cute, and this is by Modella, so yeah, and I don't think it's that big. And I found a Gap sweatshirt at um, the thrift store, and it was only four ninety nine. So I'm very pleased. So that's like 10 15 so about $22. $22. I'll take it. All right, guys. Um, I have to finish cleaning my house. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I think I'll make a chicken salad later. My husband wanted corned beef and cabbage. He loves corned beef and cabbage. So do I. So I made that. I put that in the crock pot last night, and I made that. So we have that for later on, and chicken salad it's only one fifty one. I guess we'll have that for lunch. All right, guys. I might blog later on. I don't know, but if not, I'll see you. Bye.